Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the journeys in the diaries of death of Isaac, uh, the reborn mage who is trying to reclaim his uh, destiny. Um, and very soon he's potentially going to find out that he indeed is the dragonborn. I did a couple of uh, minor tweaks and changes just so that you're aware. Uh, Kyarjo has uh, an upgraded boots and um, and gauntlets, and I changed the bone helmet for one of uh, the steel plate helmets that I looted. So he should be overall <coughs> more resistant to magic and a tiny bit uh, better protected. Secondly, I purchased uh, base items. Uh, cloth boots of uh, magicka regeneration and uh, cloth armor uh, for a bit more magicka that is the consequence that you will now see uh, we are able to actually buff ourselves without uh, immediately spending all of uh, the magicka and you can also see the magicka regeneration has become a tiny bit better which is good that's exactly what i was hoping for more casting less waiting uh, that's the name of uh, the game for today so um, we have a few other minor changes uh, namely i got ourselves um, one more spell healing ray in this case this will help us with the dragon upcoming dragon fight and i got a crossbow and built some lingering poison so i was uh, everything but idle as we're now approaching the dragon fight. Let's jump right into it. Oh, it sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. Indeed. Indeed. That dragon is skulking around somewhere. Spread out and look for survivors. We need to know what we're dealing with. Good. We got a ranged weapon. I got the healing ray. And we're ready to go. Healing Ray will become helpful in dungeons as well, as this can get Hyarjo just the little extra oomph that he needs to get back up. No, get back. It's still here somewhere. Crocky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Guardman, what happened here? Where's this? I don't know. Kinner, let's save us. Here he comes again. Here he comes! Find cover, and make every arrow count! Well, Irelith, uh, you're going to tank him. Never should have come here. And whilst we're at it... The spirit Bear might want to tank him as well. Goes down near White Run. Oh, boy, this is going to be an interesting fight. So far he's just flying around. Finally. He's landing. Alright, this is not acceptable. I cannot accept that you are continuously standing in my way. Interestingly enough, doesn't count as a murder. The bear engages. We do have uh, poison bolts. And 
I brought a lot of homemade lingering potions. Let's make each of the bolts count. Shortly trapped in the fire. And you can see just how much damage it deals. That's a hit. Po is the poison still on? Five shots should be... Yep, just consuming the poison. already on the ground. Yeah, I think he can't fly anymore. He's grounded now. than I would have anticipated. Couple of ebony arrows, yeah we don't need that. Although it's quite valuable, might come back and sell it. Good. From now on, Boof! we are the Dragonborn. We taught that dragon not to mess with white rust. Cool. Off to White Run. But there must be more to it than that. The dragon turn uh, turn uh, called me something like the Dragon Dragonborn. What do you know about the Dragonborn? When the dragon died, I absorbed some so kind of power true. from it. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Book. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a doom or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. You heard the summons. 
What else could it mean? The Greybeards. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? You've done was the why my right is Jarl. Summoning you I assign you Lydia down. as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. When he was I'll also of notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think we are honored to have you as Thane of our city. Fantastic. So, we're the Thane now, and we got a new weapon, the Axe of Whiterun. Fire damage, pretty lightweight, super good damage overall. Uh, better than our current weapon, which means I will tell you something. I will show there some of your birds. We are going to hand over the scimitar to you. Lead on, friend. Yep, he has it equipped, that's good. And we're going to use the, the Axe of White Run. I'll do the whole uh, Greybeard's Thum uh, thing next. And I also think we could benefit from a few other smaller quests. So stay tuned, we're now gathering equipment. So here we are. And very soon a murder is going to happen. We are playing Blood on the Ice, a quest line to get the Necromancer's amulet. I cut out all of the talky talky part and we're focusing directly on the action. This guy here, Calixto, is a pretty nasty and mean spirited individual. And a serial killer on top of that. There we go. Got uh, the amulet. And unfortunately, had another victim here. The amulet itself is pretty damn decent. Uh, however, we need to have a certain base magicka to even use it, so for now we are not going to uh, to take it on, but it, uh, I think with F-Tweaks it will allow you to, um, to summon uh, for up to 20% cheaper. Uh, in Requiem it's 30% cheaper on all Conjuration spells. You get plus one uh, additional uh, minion out there but the necromancer's amulet and f tweaks only allows that to be a skeleton of sorts or an undead or a spirit and there are a couple of other benefits at the downside of no health regeneration and also no uh, reduced health regeneration and reduced stamina regeneration and the kicker is if you put it on too early if you don't have enough base stamina to control the amulet it will just suck you dry and you will eventually die which for that is that character is not advisable so that's the first part uh, of jewelry that uh, we are uh, that we're uh, that we're getting i will get a reward for my valiant services uh, to the city and on top of that we're going to do another part of jewelry next which will be helpful for our character I promised we were done with bandits, and we are, but this is a small interlude. I want to test out uh, the X of uh, Windrun. Plus, quite frankly, see if we can take Traitor's Post without running away. Couple of tricksters here. Oh, yeah, wow. Bandits are no no longer really uh, standing a chance against us. Our summoning is quite strong. Yeah. Result of the test, we do not need to run away. It actually works quite well. But the other result of the test is we also finally got an armor upgrade. Oh, armor. 
for our companion. Cool, well, see? Let me loot up, get the bounty, and then we're off to our next uh, job, which is... Defeating a wolf? No, which is getting a new ring. Alright, off we go. Time to investigate the burrow once again. With these things before. Do you think you could go back in? See if anyone's still alive. Yeah, I can certainly do that. Thanks, by the way, for continuously wasting our money. I get a little bit back uh, by looting the stuff that he buys from our money. Anyway, so new buffing routine. We're taking both of this. Already got food running. Just want to show you uh, we do have a decent magical regeneration now, which actually is quite respectable for now, but we could use more. Our armor class absolutely stinks, so we shouldn't get hit at all. And I think we're going to use the same trick as the last time and work our way through with raised dead. That worked reasonably well. Uh, we do have heal others uh, now as well, if need be. And for the start, what we can do is we do have Sunfire. I think that's not a bad idea. All right, let's go. By thinking about it, we might want to start with a bear. His Conjuration is one of our strongest skills at this point. Yeah, the Axe of White Run really de uh, deals some decent damage. Make sure we're dealing with the two-handed drawers first. I, by the way, forgot that and gradual re uh, increase of stamina. Way too close for Pomford. The arrows still hit way too hard. Well, they seem to be toying around there. I don't mind that, as long as uh, they give us the time to recover here. So we'll go in with a higher summon bear. Unfortunately, our magical regeneration is still not as potent as I wish it would be. But that first room here is a bit of a difficult spot. But we're going to go in with Ray's dead next. 
that was a drogger, unfortunately too high level. And we got two shouters, holy moly. So far, so good. Regaining some more stamina. These guys seem to be a bit too high level. So we're going for the bear instead. Cool. Not well, the prettiest. First chamber ever, but okay. We got another archer over there. I cannot await uh, the moment when we ca uh, when we finally spec into uh, destruction magic. Yeah, drain spells as always don't do anything. But Mage Armor runs out, so let's get this one here done a bit faster. Tell you what, we do have a ranged damage dealer. Albeit it takes some time to Oh there we go. Good. That solves our problem. Now off we go to the next part, some quick rebuffing. that can cast a few more frost spells. Good, as per the usual, let's 
Uh, use some Draugr versus the Draugrs. Didn't fancy myself playing an Necromancer, but apparently that's how this playthrough so far is turning out. get some of the low quality potions down. I think this guy cannot be resurrected. Yeah, most certainly not if you're summoning a bear so I can. But she actually can. That's helpful as well. Good, we got frost resist. We are kept in frost resist as well. Stroga is a bit more dangerous due to all of uh, their spells. So I want to play it safe. No clue why they ignore me. But okay, it's their choice. Finishing off uh, the remaining Draugrs and uh, let's engage. Good, that destroys the summon as well. potential new summon. this this here is a bit of a trickier situation because we're going to fight multiple drovers at once so I want to be fully buffed up So here we go, we got rebuffed and it's time to enter that chamber. Problem is to a degree, the moment that we cross this section here, we will actually need to fight a couple of drovers. Let's see if this here works. Well, it partially works. Uh, we still need to fight them. Let's see if they can fight one another. Well, that seems to be working out nicely. Thanks 
so our frost resistance, we're okay. Ah, they don't want to fight one another. Taking Ray's dead here. Gotta be careful and avoid as much of the trouble as possible. That's exactly why. Close one. But if you're nimble on your feet, uh, you can very much uh, survive the onslaught here. Just need to know that it is coming. Cool. That's the ring where well, that's one of the rings uh, that we came here for. We got a haggling uh, amulet, which is even better. But look at that. Uh, so, Asendal's uh, ring of necromancy, conjuration spells, twelve percent cheaper. That's great. Magicka, 60 points. Fantastic. Allows you to keep focus whilst running. Finally, that is good. 35% less damage from absorb spells. That's good. And Magicka regeneration. It's just such a potent ring. I mean, look at it. We can finally move. Magicka continues to regenerate. Magicka regenerates, generally speaking, much faster. Okay, Whew. well, it's one of the more difficult fights that I was dreading, but I figured might as well get it uh, out of the way now, because it's one of those slight risk versus big reward moments. Any news? I should. Well, at least I'm going. Well, I think we're still going, going to go with the next uh, excavation. I'll go because there is another ring for us. Uh, we don't need the armor as much as uh, the rings. And with said ring, we're now at 360 Magicka. That's actually quite helpful. Uh, by the way, I completely forgot I had shouts available. Could have used them. So, speaking about which... Let's upgrade. We wanted alteration. We definitely need more armor. And I'm keeping the graters for more alteration later. Base stamina, uh, base magic uh, needs to increase. And I know, by the way, uh, if we increase base stamina, we would uh, finally get rid of uh, the uh, stamina problem that we're currently having. So, fairly aware of that. Getting a second, uh, a second summoning will be helpful. And we're almost level 15. Well, that's good. That is fantastic. Let's just say, uh, check something real quick. So next iteration here would indeed be 100. Uh, I have originally planned to go uh, with the extended binding and uh, elemental binding uh, ones. 
because uh, that will allow for the, in my perspective, strongest summonings. You could go in this route uh, with uh, the race uh, dead, uh, with the raid death uh, kind of route where we continuously can reanimate and reanimate and reanimate. But I'm much more inclined to go um, and get Daedras uh, later and summon them. They are incredibly strong and super, super potent. Plus, uh, you take away all of the headache of needing to find co uh, appropriate corpses. So I think this is okay. Conjuration is fine uh, for now. We could, of course, go a bit uh, deeper uh, into that here. It's potentially worth uh, worthwhile because duration is still a problem. Um, yeah, this one here, binding contract, is for uh, necromancers in particular. Um, as long as you do have a summoning out, your magicka regeneration is lessened, but it's not uh, it's not that bad. Later in the game, you can still very much have a have a nice magicka regeneration. It's just you can't fully rely on it, which we're not doing. So there are ways around that, other than the perk. Illusion is fine as well. So we're very soon uh, going to go for. Uh, a few more alteration picks and then essentially uh, destruction afterwards uh, more uh, magic resistance and of course a higher uh, a higher tier of uh, mage armor that would be good i like the higher alteration spells that would be fantastic 10 percent reduction on all spells is just absolutely great uh, will make us a much stronger cast overall cool so those are a couple of the thoughts for the next levels in terms of what we now would want to do we do have good jewelry so that's fine um, i think uh, the next natural step is we're continuing with uh, the mage uh, mages guild just a little bit more to get that dungeon uh, going and get all of the mages back into uh, the mage guild so that's potentially what we're going to do in this episode and then i'll think about what the next right step is to upgrade the rest of our equipment okay all right it's happening we're going to right. do our next dungeon What I'm most excited about is we can finally buff whilst we're moving and running. As some of you may know, Sarthor was one of the earliest. Good. Let's go through this. It's an interesting dungeon, one that uh, you got to be a little bit careful, but other than that, uh, it could be done just as well as uh, Bleak Falls Barrows at the very beginning. Just need to know what to look out for. Sarthal's amulet that we've just equipped will allow us to cast spells at minus 10% cost, so finally a few more spells. I think just overall a bit more magic uh, resistance would be helpful. There are a couple of runes later uh, later down. I don't want to walk into one of them and get one shot. 350 armor. Not, not quite where I want it to be. Chain of events that cannot 
Judgment has not been passed, as you had no way of knowing. Judgment will be passed on your... I think we're actually going to use uh, the Flame Atronach a little bit more going forward as summoning. Highly effective against undeads, deals damage, and we have a lot of other body blockers. Take great care and know that the order is watching. I, what just happened? I'm afraid. Can you tell me more about the Sigic and Dane? The Sigics have. Perhaps we. Now, please do be careful. Can I do a cast? No, I can't. Why is that, by the way? Got the Sarthal amulet. Oh, no, we're not going to take that ring off. That's a big no no. Grand Soul Gem. And since we now can have two summonings, might as well make use of it and summon two things. Prepare to defend yourself. Alright, pretty much a cluster F here. Quite a bit of um, quite a bit of uh, insights here, and since we do have two summonings, might as well get that and see if they transition over into deeper into Sarthal. Never tried that with Drover summonings. Well, the answer to that is quite clear. No. Alright, careful here. There are fire runes on the floor. The Metronarchs are really doing a lot of damage. Okay, so far so good. There are still a few more of these fire runes on the ground. So gotta be a bit careful. They are just faintly visible, which makes them a real trap.
nothing unfortunately. And it's a bit dark, ain't it? So... For once a powered candlelight. Adept, we can't open with blur yet, uh, with knock yet. So I'll need to come back to that a bit later. Summoning slowly but surely move forward. Yes, 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 yes. All right, here we go. This one is trapped. Distinctly remember it. I think knock one will not go for added, right? Yeah, no chance. Okay. Getting rid of uh, the remaining summonings here, uh, wards rather. Rebuff and do the final room. A little bit of that. I think uh, Major Armor will still go a long way. <clears throat> That's fine. But I would definitely take the drawer with us. 
if I could. Anyways, let's go. Well now, would you look at that? I never imagined. Trick here is we're going to use these nice purify undead scrolls. <clears throat> Nothing seems to work. Keep it busy. I'll try to drain some of it. And what I definitely also want to do is get our Amulet of Frost Suppression up, and whilst we're at it, don't want to be hit by one of uh, those frost spells. Well, didn't need it, so we were okay without it. I'm very certain well he had a nice staff and <clears throat> he has a Golders Armor fr uh, amulet fragment as well. What did the staff do? Um Thunderbolt, 110 points of shock damage to health and half to magicka. That's not quite bad. 110 here, 140 here. Yeah, we could uh, we can definitely do with that. This is simply fascinating. So we progressed that storyline a little bit further. Ring of Resist Magic. We already have a Ring of Resist Magic, a better one. But that one can teach us the enchantment. Cool. So we're done here. Got through it in one piece. I think it's a good moment in time for a skill point increase in to end the episode. Mage skills. Alteration. Yes, please. 50. And whilst we're at it... I would like to continue with Alteration because 75 is a great breakpoint as a support skill. And would like to continue with Destruction because that is something that we're going to need soon. Two times Magicka increase so that we meet the minimum standards for our Amulet. Let's get Adept Alteration, yes please. Mage Armor, no-brainer, and <clears throat> potentially knock level 2. Starlight isn't bad. Oh, it's kind of the AoE sun, uh, Sunburst. No, 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 it was my bad. I'm thinking about Restoration. <clears throat> don't need that, don't need that. Knock 2 would potentially be the best one. And this would be a great quality of life improvement. Because now all of the spells have a higher duration. And I'll get to magic resistance in a bit. Alteration is really one of my favorite trees as a mage. Such strong extra power through that uh, one 
10% cost reduction, great. And that would also be really good. Magnitude means spell power, so it's flat 10% damage on everything. This here isn't bad either. 20% of simply ignoring enemy spell and getting mana from it. And this is, if my memory serves me well, this is on top of the elemental resistances. So 15% less damage on top of that. The way that resist works is first it's uh, base damage, um, uh, deducted uh, magic resist, and then deducted uh, the elemental resistance. And then on top of that, uh, this would be 15% uh, off. So it's a skill tree that I would likely completely skill um, we need more points because we uh, soon will go in uh, more perk points because soon we're going to go into destruction so far this is a very has been a very conjuration heavy melee ish um, playthrough and we will see some uh, some enemies burn in a few in a few bits but for now we got to do with what we have Stabilized bindings would be certainly helpful as well. And the extended binding route would be good as well. It's not needed at the moment. Nothing is particularly broken. I think the conjuration is fine specifically if dual cast. Uh, but it could be it could be a bit better. Anyways, so that's where we currently stand. Uh, did an awful lot. Uh, next time we're starting the Thieves Guilds quest line because that was the original intention. We haven't even started with it yet, so that's not good. No bueno, uh, but we're going to start and do some pro uh, progress uh, there and eventually as time passes on um, I might do a mage dungeon or two uh, just so that we can get better ropes uh, and uh, better equipment because outside of really hardcore quests uh, mage equipment is not easy to get uh, by uh, and in order to get it you need a lot of resist which we currently already have uh, so that in itself would be helpful um, there we go with that, we do have 60 resists and a decent amount of other resistance on top, so it's not too bad. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate um, uh, you being with me. And if you enjoy Skyrim uh, Requiem uh, permadeath runs, feel free to um, show it. Click the like button. Uh, mm, uh, that uh, mm, indicates the algorithm that you enjoyed uh, the content. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.